What's up guys, this is Gianni and you're watching Cobra Kai TV. Hello Vanessa, would you like to tell us a bit more about yourself and what your business is about? Okay, well, um, yeah, basically my business is Madame Cosio Millery and um, I work from my home studio. Uh, I started out probably three years ago. Um, I did sort of like a fashion business degree and then after that I did a um, millinery evening class in Kensington, Chelsea. Um, and through that I actually got some work and um, was working in, stu in studios for other hat designers um, on a sort of like part-time basis and then yeah people would ask me what I did for a job I said I made hats for other designers and they would ask me but to make stuff for them and then that's how my business started we have uh, a few hats we can see them here a few of the creations do you wanna tell us a bit more about uh, each one of them maybe okay yeah, okay, well currently these are the best sellers and um, these are hot berets and um, they sort of inside they sort of clip on with um, a comb and elastic and it fits on sort of like behind the head as well. The elastic so it hides behind the hair and these are the best sellers and um, girls really love them. They love these and the, um, the fuchsia ones as well. Um, they, these are actually quite original, you wouldn't really see these out there. Okay, I think not even in much, Harris. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm pretty much the only person who <laughs> does them at the moment. Um, awesome. And also, what's quite nice now is sort of like turbans as well, or the take on a turban because it sort of drapes around the head quite nice and it's got like pearl embellishment and sorophical crystals on there as well. And it's the same one in black as well. How many colours do you have this one, for example? Uh, these were available in black, just the black and the peacock blue. Oh, okay. These ones, yeah. And you can have sort of like a brooch, customise it with a brooch of your choice as well. Um, yeah. What about the golden one? The golden one, this one, yeah, this one is, I can show you one here. This one Let's again see. is a bit of a sparkly turban. Wow. And it just, it fits on just like this. What do you think are the best occasions to wear these, for example? Wear these? Um, a night out. The smaller ones okay. are definitely, yeah, for a night out ones. Um, I do do some sort of like more casual ones, like what I'm wearing now. This is more of a twisted sort of trilby. These are quite casual. So you can wear more. these um, sort of like on an everyday basis. Oh, okay. What about this one? Uh, this one, one the... is a pillbox. Okay. Pillbox hat um, because of the, the shape of it and everything. And it's, um, yeah, it's handmade rose, a pearl inside and hand applique as well through there. And then, yeah, again, it's... um secured around the head and um, back of the head with elastic and um, corn so it doesn't actually fall off. Okay. This one is a bit more twenties, I think. Yeah. This black one. This black one, yep, yeah, it's ostrich feathers around here and it's made with um, straw cinnamon. It's quite tangled, so it's quite looks like sort of like a bird's nest really. <laughs> That's would, would you like to wear it? This one? And see Yeah, sure. See what it looks like really. Okay, like a lady yep. from the 20s. Yep. You said you're, you're inspired by historical heroes, like the 20s, 30s maybe? Uh, yeah, definitely 1920s um, and 1940s especially. Any other heroes guys. which um, inspires you? At the moment, just those two. Yeah, just sort of like everything obviously in between because, you know, seasons change and everything, yeah. Great. We got some of the hats on your, on your hat stand. Yeah. Should we have a look? Is this uh, one we've seen before? No? This one is, yeah, uh, it's just a uh, pillbox. Yeah, this one is just waiting to be sort of trimmed with sort of like decoration and everything. Oh, okay. It's not there. finished? Uh, well, it, you can ah. have it plain if you like. Ah, yeah. But um, sure. yeah, this is one that is just has been finished. It's got okay. sort of like a crystal detail and then you can have um, veiling as well. So you can choose ah, your different yeah. coloured sort of like veiling and everything. But yeah, it starts off pretty much looking like this and then it yeah. can end up as sort of as, you know, as you like it. Fantastic. So, Vanisha, you showed us your hats, your finished hats, your finished product. Yeah. 
Let's uh, talk a bit more about how one of your creation is born. Okay, basically I'll talk you through how to make uh, one of these trilby hats. Um, this one is a two-tone colour, but we'll start off with just one colour. It's made using the hat blocks. This is um, the crown and this is the brim shape. Uh, on the crown, what you do is use wood steam, the hood from the inside on the steamer. Okay. And place it over and really sort of Press push it. it into shape and use the steam to sort of manipulate that into shape. Um, once you feel you've got it into shape, then you'll lift it back up put some stiffener on the inside. You can use a chemical stiffener or water-based stiffener. It's basically your preference. A chemical stiffener is best to stiffen the outside or in a very well ventilated area as well. I find the chemical stiffeners actually stiffen much more better than the water-based ones, but it's it's personal, personal preference. Once you've got it into shape and everything, it's pretty much left on the windowsill overnight. Okay. And everything. Um, once you're ready to do the brim, you can do the block it in two, so you can block the brim, the crown, sorry, and then you can fix the brim on, onto it, and then turn it up and you'll have your shape here. Oh, okay. Once it's sort of like pinned all the way, all across, it's up to you, or you can just do it separately if you find that easier, because it is actually fid more fiddly that way. So. This will be separately, and then you'll have to just sort of like really sort of like with pins all the yeah, way around. With pins all the way around, okay. and the brim is always the most fiddliest because you've got a lot of space along here. So yeah. you'll find yourself here for a long time. <laughs> awesome. And then once you've got your shapes, yeah. What's next? Basically, you would. Put the two together, the crown on top of the brim, and do some thin stitches, um, tiny pick stitches, all the way down across. Um, and you can actually see inside slightly because they're actually invisible because it's the same sort of thread you'll use. Um, it's reinforced in on the inside with um, sort of like a bastille. It's cut kind of really thick, and it sort of holds the shape of the of the crown. Yeah. And then you've got some. Petersham as well, all, all the way across, and that's um, hand sewn all the way across here. And then you've got your labels as well across here. The brim will be turned up or down, it depends on your preference. And it's uh, it's got wire inside as well to, okay. to keep the shape here. And then once you're finished, you can, this is like a bias silk. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty much cut on the bias and then some stitches just to fuse it around. It's steamed on the iron on a curve what kind of fabric is this uh, this is just um, a very nice silk ah. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah quite like a dressmaking silk basically and then yeah to trim because you've done it on the curve it should sit perfectly around okay. and then once you are happy with the size of it you'll pin into place take off and then you would um, you would just sew on a machine just across just yeah. to fix again and then re reattach it and then it looks yeah it looks like this one just perfectly perfectly fits around here great how long roughly does it take you apart um, from the overnight they, the thing sewing usually takes um between each one could take could be up to about four to five hours sewing depending on which one. Um, something like this um, will take a bit more because, well, there's just a lot more going on with this one. You've got the pleated ribbon across here and then you've got a bow and then you've got the these Swarovski crystals um, attached on individually as well. Okay. And now we have a bowler hat. Um, let's see how this is created. First of all, start with the, the top crown. Again, it's sort of done in a similar way. It's sort of like really sort of stretched along. So you'll do either side and then either side in this sort of motion just to get it really, really flat across the top. So you don't want any bumps or anything.
Okay, and then once you've got it into shape, you would uh, pin across the crown and then you'll leave to sort of dry overnight. Um, again, you can sort of... Put some of the stiffener you said yeah, before. Yeah, you can use the... And then you can go through and go through and do the brim once you've got the crown shape in here and you'll go across and you'll pin and stiffen and steam at the same time. So going all the way around and once you've got it into the shape, You'd leave it upside down and need the window sill to dry overnight. The next day? And the next day you'll oh, have the crown and you'll have the brim and then you'll go through and um, attach the two together and sew. Um, if you've done it separately or if you've done it blocked in one, then you'll already have your shape. So you'll go around and trim the, the brim and add your wire and then hand stitch the Petersham all the way around here and also in here and also with the bastilles as well so vanisha thank you very much for showing your your collection where can people find you and your hats okay um well i currently do lots of craft markets and sort of like pop-up events with um the company wasted cheek and also the wick as well and um, wasted cheek and um, what they do is we've got two separate ones so we have it hold it in basically um the queens in shoreditch so first of all we've got um wasted cheek that's more like um how do i say lots of like festival fashion very vintage it's quite eclectic so you have um quite a selection of between 30 to 40 designers um oh. going there on sort of like probably about four four or five times a year they're on okay um and yeah so is there one saw, coming up or um yeah there was one coming up um uh, in may and we've also got le boutique bazaar that is also by wasted cheek um but it's wasted cheek and torch garden great it's wasted cheek and torch garden um so that's more sort of like lingerie sort of fun fantasy sort of like club wear and everything quite alternative and yeah there's usually about 30 to 40 designers um there as well Great. and another one then also last year during the summertime they had the wick fest on so i did um, a few days there um on saturdays and um, this one's starting up again up in may so i'll, I'll join them during the summer times as well and they wick was part of um, winterville in hackney so i did that during christmas time Okay, so one of the craft markets that I do is Wasted Cheek. It's a mix of sort of like upcoming designers from London. It's a mixture of like vintage, um, boutique wear, um, it's lots of accessories and mostly everything is, the good thing about it, everything that you'll see is probably under £50 as well. We do it in um, the Queen's in Shoreditch and they have like, it's like a you know, a nice shopping experience for people to sort of go to. It's like they've got DJs that feature there, they've got cocktails and really good fashion and yeah, it's just a affordable thing that goes on about three three or four times four times a year. Okay Vanisha, thank you very yeah. much for and um, you have a very interesting collection. Thank you for telling us also how your hats are, are created and see you at the markets. Thank you.